And we are live. Hello, everybody. Time again to uh, continue on this uh, long uh, sin. Um, I couldn't help myself. I added the uh, last GC anyhow, even if it doesn't show. Uh, so I just did that. Um, so let's have some fun. I'm going to change the camera angle. Uh, just remove my keyboard and a bit of stuff we're all prepared put the fly where it should be and then sorry for moving around just gonna make sure we're close enough so there we are should be Okay, picture. So, let's continue. Hi, David. Yeah, Christmas was great. Thanks a lot. Uh, uh, you did just stay home and we had uh, some family coming over, so it, it was great. But finally, Christmas is over. I'm not the Christmas guy. I would be busy tying flies, uh, so finally I can do that. Uh, this is the one I colored myself, of course. I do color almost everything myself. And I hope you guys' Christmas was uh, as good as mine or even better. So I'm just going to pair these two. There we are. See how far back I can go. I think that's the maximum. Let me see where we are. I would say we are exactly where we want to be. I just want to check this one. Oops, that wasn't smart. Hi, Dave. Yeah, I made it live for you because uh, you, you, you like live. So I said, hey, why not? And to be honest with you guys, tying yesterday was a bit boring. You know, I was here all alone. Uh, so, yeah, not all alone. The, the family disturbed me walking in and out all the time. But now it can just be better. So... Uh, I prefer to do the lives really because uh, then I don't need to edit. Uh, it takes, yeah, about an hour to edit something, and then you need to upload it to YouTube, which of course go very fast since I have a really nice connectivity towards the internet. Um, but then uh, YouTube started to compile the video to SD format and then HD. And normally I don't release the movie until it's HD quality. Uh, and th that just takes forever. It's really boring to wait uh, for that to happen. Guys, I think I just found uh, our next pair. Yeah, why not? I think it's quite fun to do live. I think the next live video, I'm going to just schedule it. And then I do like a vote or something. And you guys can vote on which pattern I should tie. So that when I start a live, 
I just do everything from scratch. No preparation, no nothing. Just uh, starting with a blind eye hook in the vise. What do you think of that? Would that be something? These are not really, I steam them, but uh, it's not super nice. But uh, that's what I have. So I'm going to work with that and just continue. So let me first just measure a bit. So this one I can tie in almost as it is. Just need to remove a bit underneath. So let's start with that. There we go. That feather prepared. So I'm gonna do one at a time. Wax some thread. There we go. So, time to start the first feather of the next pair. Little bit low. Let me see if I can correct that. <clears throat> nah, I just reset it. I don't want to move the fibers unless I really have to. There we go. Hello, Paul. Start to fly. Hmm. I would say blue charm, uh, thunder and lightning. Uh, so you can uh, learn how to uh, work with mallard. Or you can just look. Uh, but materials you have available or similar materials, you, you can start to practice because you don't want to waste your best material uh, learning how to tie a classic Selma fly. So I hope that gives you a, a bit of an alternative. So I'm just going to reset this one um, until I'm happy. It might take a while because it's turning. So I'm going to flatten it a bit. Hi, Timothy. Yeah, that would be nice with a cigar here. Uh, however, I have all my camping and fishing gear here and also my Mer Mercedes ML, uh, my new camping car. So I don't want, want that one to smell cigar though. Uh, else it would be perfect. Nah, it's not. I, I need to need to have it in, in the perfect uh, angle. So I'm just gonna keep on trying. Mm. 
that still looks good. Ah, come on. So I'm going to flatten it the other way then. Now it's better. I'm happy with that. So then the next side, similar approach. So I'm just going to measure where we should be somewhere there. <clears throat> and then yet cut off uh, some strands here. Reading the chat, meanwhile. Yeah, the reindeer fly is a, a good fly to start with uh, and a bad <laughs> a pattern to start with. The good, the good one is it's quite easy to find the materials. It's uh, not that expensive. However, um, it's quite... It's not that many uh, ingredients in that pattern, so you need to set everything perfect, else it's just going to look bad. So, so it's, it's a challenging pattern, even if it's uh, very simple. But uh, it's, it's a good pattern to practice your, your uh, patience with. Yeah, and there we are. And you see, I set the wing a bit high because I don't want to hide the, all the materials I have underneath. I want it to show a bit. So now we can remove that. I have plenty more. But to, to be honest with you guys, on, on the one Amherst neck, you don't have that many useful feathers. So next up is tippet, yeah. So let me see, that would be nice on my side. And it actually is the correct length. That, that's really, really nice. So I just need to find another one. Yeah, so I'm just going to start to pluck here. Everything I put in, in like a, a small box is steamed. So I don't need to think about that. All are prepared. I spend hours and hours each week steaming feathers. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's not something I like, but uh, you have to do it. And I keep an eye on the chat as always. So don't be shy. Well, this one could work. Let me have a look. A bit short. Want it to be a bit longer. So let's continue. Maybe this one then. It's going to straighten it out a bit.
Yeah. I like that. So I think I'm gonna tie it in as it is and not removing any fibers. Just gonna have a last look. Yep, that's the one. So just remove everything else. So we have one for each side. So what we need now is just some wax. So let's add this one then. There you go. A bit more wax. And then my side. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Thinking out loud. Maybe I should cut a bit of the feathers underneath, else it's covering too much. So I'm gonna do that on my side, uh, since I'm gonna cover it anyhow with the uh, buried uh, wood duck. Yeah, the, the feathers are nice to me today. Trying to align them as good as I can. Maybe just remove a little bit more here. There we go. Now it looks quite good. What I'm gonna do, I just have a few strands that are popping up here. So I just remove that uh, before trying the buried wood duck. And I did find Nice match, I believe. So these are the ones going on the sides. So I'm just gonna match them in. Let's see how much I can use of it. So I'm going to remove everything underneath. Mm. 
Oh, whoops. So let's try to add this one then. Looks okay. I just noticed that I accidentally just hit a feather here in the back. So let me correct that one. There we go. And the wood duck is there on my side, so I'm going to do the same on this side. <clears throat> Just cutting it. And here I need to have a little bit of a tying point as well. So I'm just going to remove a few fibers in the front. Hopefully still sufficient. As I just need to find a new one. Yeah, it's too small. So, bad plan. Look for a new one. So I have a bag here with a few. They should work. Oh, wrong side. And here is the correct side. So let me see how much is left on that one. Little bit of time. And I prepared a new one. It's a bit short, to be honest. I think I changed both. I want it to be a bit longer. So let's work with the complete, complete new set. Now I have the correct length. There we go. Just need to repeat that on the other side. Just cleaning the desk first. And now we need to have one on the opposite side. With the same same length.
Not too short. Maybe we got something here then. I will need much longer. So let me look in another in another place. Here we have some buried wood deck as well. Would be interesting if I don't find a, a good match. <laughs> I always save my leftovers when working with the wood duck. You never know when you can use them. Uh, I think I need to take a new one. Yeah, looks like that way. So I'm just sorting materials to try to find a, a decent size piece of a wood duck. Let's take something new. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dave. Yeah, I, I li like uh, really like uh, the live ones as well. Uh, so, so I'm uh, very happy you like them. <laughs> Because it's it's real. It, there's no uh, faking anything. My normal videos, I, I don't cut out my mistakes or errors either. But I think live is more fun because then we can interact uh, together and you guys can talk to each other and uh, it's uh, it's more social. And we can share, uh, you know, knowledge and so on. You guys teach me stuff, and hopefully, I teach you some stuff. <clears throat> so, is there just the wrong feathers all over the place? No, this one will do. Hopefully. So let's prepare it. There we go.
at least they have the same length. There we are. So I'm going for that lengthwise. So remove these. Uh, I would say next step would be Kotinga. And that is what we're going to find, but I'm going to use Pitta. There we are. <clears throat> yeah, exactly, Timothy. That, that's a great thing. This one looks nice. So I'm going to have this one on this side. So I'm thinking, looking on improving the sound quality. I'm not sure if, uh, how, how is the sound quality uh, now? Is it uh, good enough or do I need to do any changes? Because now I'm uh, filming with my iPhone Pro Max. Uh, I think the, the image quality of it, it, it's really nice. And sound wise, I have a uh, Logitech Brio uh, 4K stream, which uh, I record the sound with. Yeah, that, that bag of pita is uh, it's really, really nice. Uh, at one time, it, it was completely full. Uh, two years ago, I think. It's still uh, looking quite nice. Uh, it's a big bag. So, half a chest. Oh, great. Yeah, the, the Brio 4K stream is just uh, amazing uh, sound wise. And picture quality is great on it as well, but it's not uh, built to do these uh, close ups uh, for, for tying. So that's why I use the iPhone instead. It's uh, really nice on uh, close-ups. It, it looks a bit rough though, but uh, yeah, come on, it's live. <laughs> so I just need to find another one for my side. You always find the perfect one and then you have to look forever to find the next one. Oh, well, this one, yeah. Perfect. And and that, that's really good information, Vortney, because I have two soft spots going with the fans in their uh, light and also i have like an ele electronic heater next to me and uh, all those kind of things make makes noises uh, so, so it's good that the sound quality is uh, good
So I'm just cutting off all the soft uh, parts here. There we go. So just cleaning up. I would be an IBM uh, employee dream because uh, they have like a clean desktop policy. Yeah. <laughs> so let's add this one. There we go. So now we're talking uh, topping. That, that's a fun topic. So I just need to cut a few stems first. I have a few huge ones. <laughs> yeah, what Nick? Are you, are you tying classic Selma flies and you have a, a desk looking like that? Then uh, I'm impressed. Oh my God, this one is actually too big. So th this is a topping for a tenno hook or something. So let me see what we can do with this one then. Yeah, I can work with that. So I'm just going to remove the feather behind. There we go. Then I'm just going to push this one upwards. I'm waxing the thread. Yeah, I got I got a few toppings. <laughs> David, did, did you have a look at the toppings I send you? I think they were with the red in the back, right? I think you should have some decent ones there as well. So, topping time. Let me see, too much pressure. That's better. So 
So I just want to push it up a bit, release it. And it's twisting a bit. And there we are. Nice. Good to hear. Good to hear. And there we go. Topping on. So, thinking out loud. Horns. And then a hurl head. And there's no way I have the, the length of uh, Macau uh, for this hook. So I'm going to use turkey. Uh, sorry for that. But the, the hook and the hook size is just uh, humongous. It's an uh, 8.0 plus. So, start with that side first. There we go. Might have to drag that one in later, depending on how, how long the other side will be. So I just need to adjust the horn a bit on this side. Come on. And there we are. I just need to catch that strand. Yeah, the turkey is not really made for horns. Yeah, I completely agree with you. <clears throat> Yeah, I prepared a, a few nice ones just in case. So I had a, a selection of one, two, three, four, five, six. I like to have alternatives when uh, tying live, because if you should uh, prepare everything live, it takes forever. So I can remove those. And then I can just Add some wax thread here, and then it's the hurl head. So I'm gonna do the same procedure as last time, uh, adding the hurl in the front. So 
I'm just cleaning up first. Or trying at least. There we go. So good with plenty of wax on the thread. And I'm gonna take a new, no, I'm gonna take one, one I already used. So I'm gonna reuse the rest of it. I'm just gonna find a nice one. This one I liked. So just removing a bit of the fiber. So I have a tying point. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So just gonna have a look and see. Uh, I wanna have the fibers pointing forward. So I'm just keep going backwards. Until I'm satisfied. And there we go. I need to teach those horns a lesson. Eh? Yeah, okay. So then I just cut the leftover. And to finish it off, I wax a bit more. And just do a dubbing loop or what you call it. And there you go. And then cut the thread. So that's a lang, lang sin, sin, sin. Uh, yeah, not an easy word for a guy like me. There you are. And there you are. So I just need to, you know, with the dubbing needle, um, put the feathers together. But over, overall, tying this one live, mm -hmm. not too shabby. It's just that horn that don't want to play a game. And the other one is just staying flat, nice. So uh, tomorrow I'm going to tie um, a live video with a, with a um, uh, Swedish guy. Uh, but I might uh, be able to do something. But what, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to schedule one for Friday, uh, a live video, and uh, um, I'm going to uh, add a poll where you can choose the pattern uh, that I should tie on Friday. So uh, 
go in there and do um yeah put, put, put your wish there so so then we have uh, something uh, funny to look forward on uh, friday so uh, super thank you for watching uh, I'm, I'm very grateful it's a great fun to tie with you guys um, and have, have a lovely day yeah <laughs> emerald gem <coughs> That one is quite easy, so no problem. But I, I, I will, uh, I would uh, add that poll uh, here on YouTube. So after in thirty minutes, have a look and uh, uh, put put your vote there. Okay, guys. Take care. Have a fantastic day. Bye.